The seven wide deck took the scooter world by storm. It has been a thing for well over a year now. So today we're gonna find out if the hype is real and if it's still worth getting one in 2023. So today I've got my hands on the North Horizon XL, which was the first ever seven wide, and I guess the seven wide that started the whole craze. It comes in at seven inches wide, obviously, and it is 23.5 inches long, so this thing is a beast. Yeah, I recently did a custom build on it and have been riding it a little bit, so it's not brand new. I put some time on it already. But yeah, today we're gonna head to a couple of skate parks and get some sessions on it and find out if it's still worth getting a seven wide in 2023. The first skate park we're at is this one behind me, which is called Mr. Power Park or Mr. Power Skate Park. It's like brand new, so I thought I'd come here and get a little warm up and show it off a little bit for you guys. I'm not gonna ride here too long because I wanna make a whole video dedicated to this park. So if you're keen for that, subscribe. This is going to do it at this park. I kind of came here just to show it off a little bit and warm up. We're going to head to the next park and hopefully get some new learns on the 7. So we'll see you there. Next skate park we're at is Smyersdale Skate Park. Check her out. Yeah, this skate park's mad fun. I've ridden here a lot before and I enjoy it. So yeah, because we have the 7 wide, we're going to do a couple of 50 tricks that I've done before just to get a little bit like a little bit more warmed up. Yeah, then we're going to try a new learn, which is probably going to be bar 50. Um, I'm not 100% yet though, so let's get some more 50 tricks first. So let's go. <laughs> Yeah, so we're locked in with the 50s now. This skate park's so fun, plus this deck makes it extra fun. But yeah, we're gonna move on and we're gonna get a new learn, I guess. I did them yesterday for the first time ever. And I kinda just wanna like make sure I can still do them. So yeah, we're gonna do a bar to 50-50. And if that goes well, we might get some things out. So let's do it. That was probably the better one of them all, but we're gonna do one more and try and get it super clean and then we'll do some combos. Let's do it. There we go. That was four in a row and each one I feel like got better. So hyped on that. All right, time to do some combos. I wanna do the main three combos. So bar 50 whip, bar 50 bar and bar 50 heel. And then we'll move to the next step up. Let's go. I literally got them all first try. So like the first huck of the whip, I got it. First huck of the bar, I got it. First huck of the heel whip, I got it. Let's go, I'm hyped. Yeah, subscribe for that one. All right, before we go to the next skate park, I'm gonna give you guys a quick update on how we're liking the deck. So the first like ride or two on the deck was a little bit weird just because of the deck length. Like when I would hop, it felt like it would kick me over the bars a little bit, which isn't anything really to do with the width or the deck itself, it's just the length of it. Yeah, now that I'm used to it, I'm really enjoying it. That's all I'm gonna say for now. We're gonna go to another skate park and get some tricks there. And then I'm gonna give my final opinion at the end of the video. So if you came for that, Stay tuned. So we're at the next skate park, which is Snake Valley. I'm not really going to show you guys what the skate park looks like. If you watch my videos for a long time, you will know. But what I'm going to do is chuck on the GoPro and show you the park that way. So let's go in the GoPro. All right, we're in the GoPro. I hope the angle is good for you guys. We're going to try to hit every obstacle for you in it, and then we'll learn something. So we're going to start off in the bowl. We're just going to flow through this, and then we'll move to the straight section. There's like a little bank here, we'll drop in that, and then there's like a bank to bank hip. So we'll hit that, get a whip over it. Bang on. Ooh. 
will come back and hit the thing next to it, so the flat bar. That was sketch. We chuck a Yui and then there's like a little flat ledge which with like a higher ledge next to it, which is cool. So we'll hit that, get the go to. Yo, I will try going over the ledge. Four days. All right, then we have this little uh, shootout ledge with like a hubbot on the other end of it. Fun loop ski. Money. All right, so then the other side of that, we have like the the same thing, but like an up slash down rail and a flat rail or shootout rail. Money. All right, that's the park. Let's get a new learn. All right, so that's the skate park. We're going to try do some new things right now. We're going to start off with something that I've done before, but it scares the absolute shit out of me. Yeah, which is going to be 50-50 the rail. They're like real intimidating for me. So hopefully having the extra width on it makes it a bit easier and a little bit less scary. So yeah, let's 50-50 the flat bar. First tee. Right, let's get a trick out. Okay, so that was super easy and I didn't expect to get the 50-50 first try and get the two tricks first try So I'm hyped on that. Usually it takes me like ages to even hop into the 50-50 And I just want to do it first try so this deck is definitely making me confident and making me really enjoy riding So that's good because that was so quick. We're gonna try learn something new um, Yeah, so this one I've actually never done before and it's gonna be whip to 50-50 This is gonna be a struggle sucks yeah i'm having fun and honestly i'm gonna put that down to this deck i don't know what it is maybe the extra width and length like the extra foot room just makes riding so much more fun and enjoyable for me i like kind of suck at combos and stuff so i really just try to stick to grinds and this deck's like perfect for that so if you're kind of the same rider as that like you just like to flow around and do grinds and stuff this deck's definitely perfect for you yeah there's a ton of foot room which means you can move around on it a lot and it makes it like it makes riding feel kind of flowy once you're used to it so yeah i definitely recommend a seven wide if you're still on the market for one i definitely think they're gonna last and i definitely think a seven wide is worth getting in 2023 the hype is real around them i want to be the greatest in the world not for the money and the fame and the girls not for the car keys or the jet skis but the vacation to the west indies